Hey guys, this is Matthew Berry, CCIE number 26721, and in this five minute video I'm going to be covering the CCIE voice lab approach that I used when it comes to doing your dial plan, and especially uh, when this concerns doing party plan and type. Okay, so what you're looking at here is the spreadsheet or the, the chart that I use when I took uh, the lab. Now these values are, are just examples, but this is the method that I used when I took my lab on August 16th, 2010 uh, and passed my lab on the first time. Uh, so what you're going to be doing is when you sit down, you create a chart like this. And basically what you're looking at is three separate sections. There's a section for each site. You have your HQ, you have your branch one, and you have your branch two. Um, in each of those sections, you have a row for called numbers and calling numbers. So called numbers is going to, that will be the number uh, that you are call, uh, that, that you have dialed on your phone. It will be the destination number. So that pertains to the number that is leaving the gateway, going out to a phone or, or you know, something outside of your site. The calling number is going to be your ANI or, or your caller ID. What what the calling number is that's sent to the carrier. In each section you'll also see four columns and each of these columns pertain to the type of call that could be leaving the gateway. So you have 911 calls, local calls, long distance calls, and international calls. So when you go in to take the lab you draw this chart and it's empty it is going to look something like this. And what you're going to do is as you read through the lab, uh, as you come across details concerning your dial plan, you're going to populate this chart with those values and you're going to do it the first time you read through it because you don't have a lot of time to waste. So you know you read through and let's say you come across the gateway section and it tells you that um, all 911 calls that go out of HQ should be three digits, should be sent to the carrier for the called number, it should be unknown for plan, and the type should be ISDN. So you're going to enter those values. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a spreadsheet that has been filled out as an example. What you're looking at here is a, a, a sheet that's been already filled out. Um, these are example values and I'm just going to walk through a few of them here. So what you have is, let's say for uh, branch one, as you're reading through some of the different sections, now just note, dial plan information can be contained in other sections other than just the dial plan. So let's say you're, you're reading through the gateway section and, and you're setting up branch one, which is a H323 or SIP gateway, and it tells you that for all local calls and long distance calls, they both should be sent out with 10 digits as a national type and as ISDN. Well, you're going to take that information, you're going to put it in your chart here under branch one local and under branch one uh, long distance. 10 stands for obviously 10 digits, N is for national, and ISDN is for the type. The version 3 lab is also interested in, in testing your knowledge of whether you understand uh, plus dialing or not. So you know, in, in this particular example, you can see that for uh, HQ calls, let's say that they tell you uh, called and calling party number going out of the HQ gateway needs to have the full E164 number, including the plus at the beginning of it. Well, what you would do is you would enter that information right there in the spreadsheet. However, um, let's say branch one and branch two are in the US and it, it doesn't really matter if you have the plus or not um, but but they specifically say don't send the plus okay so what you would do is you would go in and, and for branch 1 and branch 2 you would just write E164 okay so you use you take all this information then and if you use the device based approach which I used and I detailed in a previous video on my blog um, you'll go through and as you're creating your dial peers and setting up all of that information you're you're using this chart and building your uh, translation rules and profiles you turn on your debug ISDN Q931 and as you're testing uh, later on you're using this chart to verify and so um, I, I hope this gives you a good idea or maybe just a short idea of of how you can formulate um, the information so you capture everything on your lab day